it's like 20 minutes where you're just sitting there trying to figure out. <laughs> so one time I was muscle testing with Jordan and I was like, I muscle tested. This is okay, right? <laughs> and I got no. And we were just drinking coffee. I, I was just like, should I drink another coffee? Coffee? This is okay, right? And I was doing a muscle test to drink another cup of coffee and to say that the coffee I was drinking was okay. Like at what point do you have to be at in your life where you have to muscle test? Like it's me drinking coffee with my friend at nine o'clock. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess divination and muscle testing can maybe stop our whole decision-making apparatus from working. Really? You think so? Well, if we always have to use it, if we can't just know in the moment, okay, I'm going that, I'm doing that. This is what it is. Yeah. We always have to get something outside. You know, like, is this a good idea? <laughs> I haven't been making good ideas much. <laughs> I think at that point, you're fueling a limiting belief that you don't trust yourself. And then you're not listening to your intuition, your heart, and you're looking for some external to make the decisions that you don't know what to do anymore. So you're not strengthening anything. So you just killed the whole premise of choose a remedy. <laughs> but also, I mean, we need little things that get us more into that groove again, because the world is harsh. And sometimes we don't have the time to sit with ourselves and connect to that heart space and that intuition. And it's little things like that that can bring us back to it. Very true.